Matt Williams is having hip replacement surgery today. So he won't be with us for a period of time. He'll be back pretty quickly, but not in the coaching box for a while. It might take into the season a little bit, but we are lucky enough to have Mike Schilt in our organization and he's gonna take over those duties. He's gonna coach third and he's gonna do the infield stuff. And we are really lucky to have him here in this organization. Probably the only year he won't be managing. So timing was great for us. He'll be with us all the way through until um, when Maddie's back on the field. Like I said, Maddie will be in the dugout probably, I don't know, a week, maybe a little bit more, but um, not in the third base coaching box until he's able to move around and get out of the way of 115 mile an hour line drives and so forth. It's just there's so much knowledge there and I'm gonna tell the guys today, soak it up, because it's probably the only year we're gonna have them here. And you don't have resources like that often. So we're, like I said, we're lucky. Chance to talk to Voight yet? What are your, what are your impressions? Straight into my office. Once he went through the intake and all that, and I, great conversation. He just wants to contribute and win and contribute however he can. So I, I didn't even have to lay it out. My, my speech to him, he gave to me. So it was, it was fantastic. You got a guy who obviously he he saw a better situation elsewhere, and he definitely sees a better situation here. And he comes in, he kind of wants to start over. What does that excite you? How much? Yeah, I mean, there's some motivation to that. So, you know, I mean, he's what his tra when he was healthy there, his track record was fantastic. He's hurt teams that I've been on quite a bit. Um, so it's nice to get him on our side, and and I think it's kind of a rejuvenation type thing. He feels like he's fully healthy now as far as the knee goes. And even, I don't know if he was joking or not, I doubt it, but said if I need him to play the outfield, he'll play the outfield, which I hope I don't need him to. And, and I'm not going to have him do that, so we want to keep him healthy. DHing is an acquired taste. It's not, it, it is not easy to do, and, and he knows how to do that, and he can play first base as well, so it's, it's a really good fit for us. Guys trying out C.J. Abrams in the outfield at any point this year? Well, I told you I wasn't going to play him at second, and I kind of went, <laughs> I was going to, I was waiting for someone to walk back that one on me, but, um, you know, with, with Jake out and Toddy out now, and we need to get Kim a lot of reps, and the more we, we see of, of C.J., the more we like him, so I'm just trying to get him in the lineup. But at this point, outfield, no, at least at this point. Just in the maybe distant future, just with his skill set, that's very athletic. I would probably anything, any, anything he couldn't do. But I think we, you know, he's this his first, you know, full big league camp, and you know, we want to keep him in, in a position that he's comfortable in. And you sit around for eight innings yesterday and come off the bench and hit a homer. That's probably not something he's done before either. But um, I think infield for now. What will you do when Jake starts? Um. Probably alternate them a little bit more at short and give Jake maybe some DH days too. There'll be enough time for CJ. You know, it's getting to the point. I mean, I'm playing him every day, um, so he, he's going to probably need a couple off days as well at some point. Given the number of catchers you have and the extra maybe roster spots, and the fact that a couple of those guys are versatile and can do other things in the diamond, like how many have you thought kind of about how many places might be available for those those four guys? I, uh, no. <laughs> well, we think about it all the time, but they're catch, they're all catchers for me. I mean, Nola could probably do a little first or something like that, but I, I'm comfortable where he is right now with Luke here. Now we're not. There's not really not a need for that. He can probably DH too if Luke's at first. If I want to give him a day off, the other guys we're we're trying to look at as catchers right now, and it's hard because it's a short spring and. You know, the one good thing is we're having some games uh, like Clev's going to throw over at minor league camp. Um, and I think Paddock one day when um, Weathers will start. So we're going we're gonna to be able to get all, all these guys in on, on certain days, all four of them in. And, you know, it's hard to get them consistent reps when it's a short spring like this. How long has it taken, in your, in your view, for those catchers to build a rapport with the pitchers they're working with? Like, how many... Bullpens or Depends, starts? You know, younger guys, probably a little bit longer. Veteran guys, probably a little easier. Um, you do, you know, these guys all want to catch guys in the bullpen. And even though we have a bunch of bullpen catchers as well, these guys want to want to see all our pitchers. So I think it's a little bit easier for the veteran guys. And, and we have three of those. Is Clevenger today or tomorrow? Sorry. That's why I bring my, no, no, no. I just, Clevenger. 
is Wednesday. So Gore will start the game against the Angels and Clev will pitch at Langley Camp. Musgrove's tomorrow. Do you guys take it Thursday totally off? Yes. Uh, you know what, there'll probably be some pitchers that throw, yeah. yeah. I think you need an off day. Even though it's a short spring, I think it's, it's, it's a benefit to have a full, a full day off.